And Kristaps, great to see you here in Orlando. We saw you there with Jeff Hornacek. And Greg and I were sort of speculating what you were talking about. Was that philosophy? Were you having fun? Was it X's and O's? Well, what kind of were you talking about there with your new coach? It was everything. Uh, talking about basketball, talking about life. How, uh, he wanted to get to know me a little better. I wanted to get to know him. And, and we talked a lot, you know, as you, as you saw. Hey, Chris, I'll talk a little bit about what went through your mind when you first heard that the trade was made for Derrick Rose. <laughs> I mean, I was surprised as everybody, I think. Uh, it was it was sad to see you know some of my teammates go, but at the same time you know getting a really good player for them, I think that's going to help us win next season. And and, and knowing what type of player their growth is, I'm I'm really happy that you know I'm going to have a guy like that who can make myself look better. And Kristaps, it's uh, only an agreement, a verbal agreement at this point. It's not official yet, but. Uh, the reports are there, and it's been talked about for, for a couple of weeks now that Joakim Noah is coming to New York to play for the Knicks. Um, just theoretically look ahead and what it's going to be like to play with a guy like Noah, you being a power forward, him being a center, and all the stuff that he brings to the floor. Have you thought about that and how, how you would complement each other? Of course. Um, as, you know, as, as much as I've seen, I've been watching his tape now, his, his highlights, and and uh, as a big man, he's a great passer. And I think that connection between me and him can re be really special. And I love the type of guy he is on the floor. A lot of energy and, and likes to get in uh, opponent's face, you know, and, and that type of guy. So I'm, I think I'm going to really enjoy playing alongside him. All right, big fella. Talk to me a little bit. I know you're a student of the game. I know after the season there were certain areas you said, okay, I got to get better at X, Y, and Z. What are those three areas that you feel that you have to prioritize this offseason to be better than you were your rookie year? Well, number one is the thing that I'm going to work for the rest of my career on is, is the physical aspect. You know, obviously I want to get stronger, and, and this time we really have a plan for the summer where uh, number one thing is just lower body and core and, and making that sure that is strong and then building up from there. Um, and then basketball-wise, you know, you can always get better at everything. You know, there's nothing I do perfectly, so... Uh, one thing is I keep working on my shot, you know, me and my brother, we've been shooting, you know, every day, all day long, and it's it's annoying, you know, we've been shooting so much, it's just uh, working on my handles, we've been working a lot on my handles, um, so I'm able to, you know, keep playing that, my style, my style of basketball, where I, I'm a big man attacking from outside, but at the same time working on some post moves where I can use that advantage when I have a smaller guy on me.